Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Supper City Training Center. My name is Jason here at Supper City. Here we're going over some high rocks preparation. Recently ran my second high rocks race. It was a wonderful time. Had a great improvement upon my time as compared to my first race. So we'll share a couple of our training modules that I've been using to improve my time, both in the rock zones on the events and as well as on each of those kilometers that I'm running in between each of those events. Because as you may or may not know, the high rocks isn't just a strength event. It's not just an endurance event, it's not just a speed event. It's gonna wrap all of that into a single culminating event called high rocks. And you're gonna have to run fast, push heavy things, pull heavy things. You have to do it over an extended duration of time. So all of those factors have to be pressure checked. They've gotta be trained. And ideally they've gotta be excelling when you find yourself on race day. All right, again, that's everything from your speed, your power, your endurance, your strength. Of course, your mental fortitude has got to be in check as well. And so we've got a couple of training se sessions that we're going to be sharing with you over the next couple of weeks as I continue to prepare for the next race. And so we'd love to share what's working. Hopefully you can implement it into your training program and get a lot of the same positive feedback and results that uh, myself and a lot of our athletes here at Supper City are experiencing on the High Rocks course. Here we are, Jason here at Supper City. We got a fantastic training session for you today. We're gonna be working on run speed as well as our lower extremity strength endurance. Two very critical factors as it relates to your High Rocks results. We're gonna have a kilometer run in to this ladder work. We're gonna be doing a front squat as well as a box jump up to 50 reps, starting at 10, up to 50. So we're gonna cash out of this workout with a one kilometer run out. Now the focus here is to have that last kilometer you run be roughly within you know, 20, 30 seconds of your first kilometer run. And that'll kind of give you an idea of how much leg endurance you've got as it relates to your speed on these one kilometers. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start out with my one kilometer run on this ZebEx runner. Got this thing set to meters. I'm gonna take off at a good pace. I wanna find myself really pushing hard here through this whole kilometer. Maybe you find your finished runs at these kilometers anywhere between three and a half minutes up to four minutes. In either case, you're gonna push for that whole kilometer. This is gonna buy you in now to this ladder work we're gonna do. Let's go check it out. All right, so I just finished out that kilometer buy-in. Uh, after I've run that, I'm breathing pretty heavily, but I wanna get directly into my front squat to box jump ladder. We're gonna start with 10 reps of each movement and increase by 10 reps each round. All right, so we'll go from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40, all the way up to 50 reps on each movement. Yes, it's gonna tap the lower extremity. It's gonna prepare those muscles for the strength endurance challenge that'll be ahead of you on that high rocks race. I've got 95 pounds loaded here. Now that is just beyond your reach right now. Hey, that's all right. Start at 65, 75, 85 pounds, work up to 95. Hey, if this is super light for you, then great, that's fine. But you don't necessarily need to be front loading a lot more weight than this in preparation for your high rocks race. So I'll get under the bar here. Keep my elbows nice and high. Now I wanna do ensure that we are dropping those hips nice and low, getting that full range of motion rep. What this is also preparing us for are those wall ball shots. See, very similarly, as you'd have a ball front mounted here, right where this barbell's at, same type of movement here. Getting nice and low in that squat, driving up, excelling to triple extension through that squat. Now, as soon as I finish my first 10, I'm gonna go right to my box jump. We're just going back and forth here, wasting no time. Locking in, getting my full extension here, all the way to the top of the box. We're gonna take my 10 reps. Boom, all the way up, all the way down. Moving at a quick pace. As soon as I get my 10, back over to my front squat for 20 reps. Back over to the box for 20. Continuing in that manner, increasing my reps by 10 each round until I get to 50. Now, once I've got to 50 reps each, I gotta get right back into my run, whether it's on a non-motorized runner. If all you have access to is a regularized treadmill, that's fine, or maybe you're running outdoors, that's great. In either case, let's get right back to that kilometer. All right, so this kilometer cash out. Yeah, the legs are gonna be spent a little bit, but you still gotta push that pace. Again, trying to work in within 20 or 30 seconds of that kilometer run in. That's where you want this kilometer buy out to be at. So we're maintaining some decent speed endurance over the course of this event. That is what's going to challenge you dramatically on that high rocks course. Yeah, you've got those eight kilometers to run through and you want each of those kilometers to be somewhat relatively close to each other in terms of the time it takes you to complete it. If you're noticing those times really start to wane down 
your fifth, your sixth, your seventh, your eighth kilometer. That's no bueno. We got to improve that endurance, whether it's muscular endurance, speed endurance, something has to improve there. This training session will help you get there. Hey, my name is Jason here at Suffer City, helping you prep for your next High Rocks race. You got questions or comments, put them down below. Otherwise, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Let us know you're enjoying these videos and we'll see you next time. Go be great.